A level three charger like this is what you wanna be using on a road trip. It's the fastest way to get uh, your battery juiced up. So 6, 11 p.m., according to the machine over there, you can't see it, but I can read it through the rain there. It's 49%. 49% battery at 6, 11 p.m. We'll come back in a few minutes. So we started about 14 minutes ago at about 50%. Now, 14 minutes later, we're at 71%, going to 72% over on the display on the charger there. Meaning, we've added 20% to the battery in roughly the time it took me uh, to take a washroom break and uh, get a coffee. And that's plenty of range to get us home. So let's go home. So I'll show you the home charging setup that I use, and we'll do a little uh, experiment uh, demonstration after that. Uh, level two charger here. Look for these on sale Black Friday. I got uh, $300 off of this by buying it on a Black Friday sale a couple of years ago. Uh, so this cost me about 700 bucks. Uh, simple LED light on there so you can see it at night. Uh, there's your charging uh, connector here. Just sits in there when you don't need it. It has a little thing here to hold your cord on. That's tied in uh, to the electrical panel just right here on the other side of the wall. So with this setup, it's super easy. We've just got a little bit of wiring here tied right into the panel. That's 240 volts. So we've got the panel right here. This is the wall of the garage. And then the charger is right there. So very minimal wiring, about 700 bucks for the charger and probably another 300 or so uh, to have it installed. So your Mach-E will come with a uh, power adapter like this. Just your standard household outlet there, 120 volts. And this is the slowest way uh, to get power into that battery, but it might be enough if you're just trickle charging. So it's telling us the power's on. We'll go plug this in again. This is not my level two charger. This is hooked up to the standard level 120 volt outlet. We'll put that in there. This is, you're gonna pretty much call this a trickle charge. This is the slowest way to get power into your battery. But if you're only driving maybe a couple of times a week or you're typically making shorter trips, this might be all you need. Let's take a quick look inside and see what the display is telling us here. So we're starting here about quarter to eight Monday with 24% battery and that's worth 78 kilometers of driving right now. It's telling us we'll be 100% charged by 4.48 p.m. on Thursday. If I was using level two, that is easily an overnight job. And on level three, that might take an hour, maybe an hour and a half. So let's let this recharge overnight on level one, and we'll come back in 12 or 13 hours or so and see what an overnight charge on level one is gonna give us. All right, so it's the next morning. We've been charging for about 13 and a half hours, a little longer than I thought. Uh, let's go outside and see how much we've put back into that battery on level one. We've been charging now for 13 and a half hours on level one, using the household power outlet over there. And we have gone to 40%, 131 kilometers. So overnight, we've added 15% to the battery. So I actually left the car plugged in on level one uh, after this morning. So it's now been charging about 22 and a half hours. We're about 6.30 PM now. Let's see where that leaves us. 51% now good for 166 kilometers. So we've roughly added about 25% to this battery in the course of about 22 hours. So we're gonna do a little uh, experiment this evening and I've got the battery in the Mach-E down to 17% right now. That's showing me 61 kilometers left. The idea here is we're driving to a level three fast charge station and with the battery as low as I can get it, I wanna see how quickly I can recharge this thing. All right, so we arrived here with about 50 kilometers left. That was about 13% battery uh, remaining. We've been plugged in now for three minutes. Three minutes in, we've already added 7% to this battery. You just saw it go to 8% there, 21%. So we're gonna let this go for 10 minutes and see where that leaves us. Really exciting for me because I read a lot about fast charging. I don't drive a ton of electric cars. A year ago, we couldn't have done this, but now we're starting to see more of these fast charge stations going up. Like we've got a lot of these Petro Canada ones that have just been installed uh, between Toronto and Sudbury, including these two actually right in Sudbury. And this is cool to me because I'm, I'm watching the gauge, I'm watching the battery, I'm watching the time, and I'm realizing this is the fastest I've ever personally put electricity into the battery of an electric car. 
And that's important because this is the one thing that a lot of people, especially in my locale, are worried about. How long does it take to charge if you're doing the sort of long distance driving that we commonly do up here? This will be pretty representative of what you might get in real life if you just plug in while you take that quick washroom break or grab a snack. Ten minutes, there it is. Cost me about uh, a little over three bucks. And from that we added 20%. Uh, well, let's fire this back up. Look at all this stuff. All right, so as you can see here, gone from 13% in roughly 50 kilometers to 33% in 132 kilometers in 10 minutes of charging. 10 minutes in this particular case gave us 82 kilometers in 10 minutes. Just for reference, I did actually stay behind and plug this in for 10 minutes more just to see what would happen. So with exactly 20 minutes of charging, we've actually added 40% of the battery now. We started at 13%. And about 50 kilometers. So now with 20 minutes on a DC fast charger, we've added 40% to the battery and about 160 kilometers of range in 20 minutes. And at the price that they're charging for electricity at this charging station, adding that roughly 160 kilometers cost me a total of about $6.50. So that's how a level three charger works. That's the fastest way to charge the car up. Again, there are a lot of different variables that affect how quickly you can get electricity into the battery, the temperature outside, the type of charging station you're using, the state of the battery, and so on. This is just one of your other options for charging the car while you're not using it. So maybe if you're typically driving just shorter trips or you're driving your car every couple of days, you might do just fine on level one to trickle charge the battery while it sits in your driveway for a day or two on end. And then maybe once or twice a month, you top the battery off at a fast charge station like this while you're shopping. End of the day, there are a lot of different ways you can tackle charging in a vehicle like this, and this is one of them.